Now to the passing of Nancy Reagan, who died in Bel Air today at the age of 94. Mrs. Reagan is credited with redefining the role of First Lady. KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo is live at the Reagan Library, and she joins us with a look back at the life and legacy of Nancy Reagan. Christy? Andrea, the library says that Nancy Reagan had a hand in every inch of this facility, from getting Air Force One here to Marine One, and they say it is fitting that she should also be laid to rest here. The Presidential Library in Simi Valley bears his name, but on this day, the tributes are in hers. Mourners like Elaine Steele leave flowers and simple messages for Nancy Reagan. Rest in peace. Nancy was just such a lady, you know, someone that we all respected, whether you were on the D side or the R side. The facility closed Sunday so funeral arrangements could get underway. Mrs. Reagan will be buried on the grounds of the library she helped build. Joining the man she affectionately called Ronnie. Born in 1921 as Anne Frances Robbins, she became an actress and took the name Nancy. That's how she met the movie star, who would eventually become her husband. Now, I congratulate you, sir. And in 1981, the president. She leveraged her status as the first lady to rail against drug use with her Just Say No campaign. I've often thought that if anything is sacred, our children are sacred. And we're the ones who must tend their flames so that they can burn brightly on their own. In the cutthroat world of politics, the Reagans' devotion was unassailable. Their marriage endured an assassination attempt and the onset of Alzheimer's. <music> Mrs. Reagan's deep affection never more apparent than on the day she said goodbye to her Ronnie, a political powerhouse known for their love and legacy. The library is now collecting emails of condolence on its website, and we're told those emails are coming in from all over the world. An exact date for the funeral has not been set, but it will take place later this week. Back to you. All right.